Hey guys. Okay, so I happed upon this like really cool paradox about life and what it is to be human and all of that stuff this week. And I really wanted to share it with you in hopes that it would help you in a similar way that it helped me. <laughs> um, so this paradox is that as people, we are at once utterly unoriginal. I mean, there are billions of us here and, you know, probably at least a million people trying to do the thing that you're trying to do in life and we're all trying to, you know, do the family thing and fall in love and whatever. So like our pursuits, our dreams, our goals, our thoughts, our, our ideas are often unoriginal. Womp, womp, womp. I know that's like depressing on the surface, but bear with me, right? Simultaneously, however, we are totally unique like completely and utterly one of a kind. So let me explain how this works and why this is actually really awesome and liberating. So the reason I started thinking about this is I was reflecting on um, the sort of hiatus that I took from uh, this channel and from making these videos and why I had done that. And as I explained to you, I was you know, contemplating what I wanted this show to be and the purpose of it and if, um, you know, there was really a, a need for it and what the value was, right? And part of the mean thoughts that came up through all this, uh, for me at least, was like, oh, well, that's so, you know, unoriginal. There are obviously, you know, a million people, more than a million people, you know, trying to do the YouTube channel thing and like, you know, what makes me so special or why should I do this? Or, you know, do I really have anything original or necessary to bring to the table? I'm just, you know, one of a million womp womp, right? But I started thinking about some of my heroes who do things similar to this. I mean, the first that comes to mind and most relevant is Oprah, right? I, I recently heard um, Oprah say something about how she created her empire, her show, and then subsequently her magazine and all of that, um, to give people a space to speak their truth, to be in their truth. And I think that's incredible. And that's so much of what I'm trying to do, right? And she wasn't the first person to ever do that, um, but she's Oprah. She, there is no one who's Oprah, right? Uh, similarly, this author that I love, Elizabeth Gilbert, um, she writes a lot of nonfiction memoirs um, and she writes a lot about writing. And some of her ideas about the creative process are not, you know, she's not reinventing the wheel. She's not the first person to think this stuff or say it, but she brings her own, you know, je ne sais quoi to it. She is Elizabeth Gilbert and nobody else is. And she's awesome, right? So I started thinking about this and I was like, man, in all of human history, there have never been two identical people. I don't mean identical twins, obviously, <laughs> but I mean people identical in character, personality, goals, dreams, you know, proclivities, weaknesses, you name it. No two people have ever been exactly alike, which means you are the only you. I mean, that is actually incredible when you think about that. How many billions of people have existed and the fact that there have never been two of the same, right? So that's pretty special. And so what I wanted to, to bring to you all today is, you know, if ever you get caught up in these self-defeating thoughts about being unoriginal or one of a million trying to do something or like, what is it that I have to bring to the table in, in whatever it is, remember that you are the only you that has ever done that thing, right? Your career path might be unoriginal, your goals might be unoriginal, who cares, right? None of us are reinventing the wheel here. We've been around for thousands of years, like we gotta get over the idea that we're gonna do that, right? But like, the world is shaped in little and very big ways by individuals expressing themselves in, the only, in, in, in a way that only they can, right? your thoughts, your feelings, your convictions coming through you, no one else can do that. And it is effortless to just stand in that and be who you are, right? I mean, that's incredible. So this is all to say, go out and celebrate this awesome paradox about life that we're all just walking around doing unoriginal things, so don't feel bad about it, right? But we are each the only people to have ever done it our way. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.